space weather this week is a bit of a mixed bag. As we take a look at the Earth-facing disk, you can see the big player is in the south. This is region 3068, and it is an M-flare player. However, it hasn't been launching any real big flares, just kind of touching the hairy edge of M-class. So we haven't been getting any big radio blackouts or any big solar storms being launched from this region. We have had a little bit of storming from that southern coronal hole. You can see it rotating through the Earth strike zone now. It isn't the right polarity, so it isn't giving as much storming. We do have a northern pro polar coronal hole that's also going to be rotating in through the Earth strike zone, and we're going to get probably more of the same, where we're just getting kind of unsettled conditions. And then if we look to the east part of the sun, that's really where some of the activity is beginning to build. You can see a couple more small coronal holes. Those could give us a potential for storming here in the next week or so. But if you look right on the east limb, look at all the bright regions. There's been a lot of solar storms being launched, and new active regions are going to be rotating uh, into Earth view soon. And we also have in the north, do you see that massive prominence there? That looks like it's on the verge of erupting. And as we take a look at the sun from the, the far side, this is stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see region 3068 kind of moving off to the west limb in stereo's view, and then those smaller coronal holes as we move to the east. And beyond that, right on the east limb of the sun in stereo's view, you could actually see that prominence uh, that looks very, very unstable. If this region rotates for another like, maybe three days and hangs on and then launches, it's going to be in the hairy edge of the Earth's strike zone, and that means that we might get a solar storm launch from that. So we're definitely going to be watching it very closely. On top of that, we do have a few more active regions that look like you're going to be rotating into Earth view. This is going to boost that solar flux up and keep us in that marginal range for radio propagation on Earth's day side, and perhaps it might begin those radio blackouts again. For more details on this week's space weather, including how an Earth-directed solar storm launch may affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.